Hey what's up everybody, my name is Trophynut and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. Today, uh, we're still at uh, Priscilla's room and we're gonna start uh, writing the script for the play that's supposed to lead us to, uh, to Dudu, that should lure Dudu to us. So let's talk to Priscilla again. Alright, guess we can start writing the play. Any ideas for the plot? Actually, I was hoping... The key is to convince Dudu that he can rely on you, and that we wish to free Dandelion. Okay then. The message must be clear, though naturally woven into the play's dramaturgical essence, meaning we need an appropriate dramatic structure. Following along? Kind of. More or less. That'll do. <laughs> now to find the proper expressive form for our content. A gripping, contemporary story, that would be best. Perhaps about the condottieri of Povis. I know. Lorenzo Moller. A tale of a handsome but ruthless bandit and the Doppler who manages to fool him. But now the Doppler must hide and can only count on the help of his friend, who's a witcher, who in turn is prepared to do anything to save his daughter. No, better. His beloved. Hmm. What do you think? Isn't that a bit much? Hmm. Sounds a bit too obvious, but let's go with it. Sounds great. Really think so? Lorenzo Moller. Yeah. Hmm. Or perhaps not. Wait, I've got it! We shall stage a story of the Urchin of Erlenwald. Secret lovers, their betrothed, or a curse, a cruel queen, bell sounding midnight. But... At which point he reveals his face. He's a monster, there to steal Princess Pavel. They want him dead, but at that instant, a witcher steps in. That's not really... that actually happened. So it's settled, yeah? You wish to say something? Um... Do I get a say in any of this? Will I get a say in any of this? Or have you decided everything already? Why are you cross? It's the nature of the creative process. We toss around ideas and choose the best ones. Meaning yours. Well, you must admit I'm better acquainted with the theatre. Naturally, you'll play a part in shaping this play. Contribute to the work as a whole. Dandelion will explain how it works later. Okay then. The story that she told is actually the one uh, about uh, Ciri's mother. Pavetta is the, the mother of Ciri. And she fell in love with a monster who appeared to be a man. Uh, and that was Ciri's father. But enough about that. Need a good title. We need a good title. Venture to say that's more important than the story itself. I have some ideas. Perhaps you can choose. Gonna consider my opinion this time? Of course. We're partners in this. I'm just in charge. I've two really good ones. The Doppler's Salvation and A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Which do you prefer? Um. Maybe that's more subtle. A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. A Changeling Rescued or The Witch's Triumph. Really emphasizes the message we're trying to get across. Just one problem. No Doppler's Her in that face. story. Just a princess and a cursed urchin. Nothing simpler. We need merely swap the Doppler in for the urchin. The message, that's what's important. A witcher arrives and saves the Doppler. Got it? Mm, yes, right. ma'am. So it's a comedy. I was thinking more along dramatic lines. But if you prefer something lighter... Listen, merely decide and I'll get to work. Hmm. Hmm. Let's keep it at drama then. Mm, you're right. The drama'd be better. Very well. I must get to work. While you must pick a corner, sit down, read silently, or just think. Yeah, yeah I get it. Right? Fine, since you don't need help with the writing. Get She's on. a lovely person. A rhyme for Witcher? Did itcher? Ugh, just keep quiet. <laughs> we were trying to help. <sighs> Done. I could make a small masterpiece of this had I a bit more time, but... We're fresh out of that. The hidden message to Dudu. What did you weave in? Hidden message? We were gonna work something <laughs> Her in. Face. Like, come to the Kingfisher at dawn, or... That wouldn't be in keeping with the tone of the play. Not at all. You wrote it to contact Dudu. That was the purpose. Fine. So how do you see this working? I don't know. 
I was counting on recognizing him by a scar. Or just improvising. Shall we worry about that later? First, you must take the script to Madame Irina. Madame Irina. Us later. See ya. Okay. That's good. Take it to uh, Irina Renard. So I think that's near the the theater itself. So uh, see you there in a second. Not that far from uh, High Rock Square. So uh, let's get in. I think. Can we get in? Where nope. are you going? That's a place of culture, not a trough for swine to. Okay. Take it easy. This is where Madame Marina's troupe performs. Yeah. But you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. Um, so, want a ticket? Accent no. performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Magic in Need your face. Ticket. Ah, okay. I'll take a ticket. Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Hey? And getting experience from spending money. Madame Renard. Madame Marina, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Oh. Is he with you? No, We're famous. But I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theater. We'll be undisturbed there. Okay then. How can I help? My We've dirty mind went somewhere else the there. He won't be disturbed. So he's in trouble. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the eternal fire? Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. I have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? Um, we'd like to use your theater for that. I want to stage a play, something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play, and who will write it? Priscilla, Priscilla actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a doubler from certain death. Mm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you okay. mind tending to these matters? Yeah, we will. So, uh... Why the ushers? Think we need ushers? A play about dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing. Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All right. Cozy. Appropriate. Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Okay, then. Sounds interesting. So, and how do I help you publicize the staging? How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbor piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. So I guess we uh, got our target, so let's get to it. Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. So, let's first recruit those uh, jugglers uh, called the Puffins. So... Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Probably not the way you should do that, but see you in a second. So this should be the townhouse where the puffins are located. And there are a few people here.
Nice tune. Damn sad, though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Help. Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. Think there's been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. Hmm. Another thug. <laughs> another thug? Flattered. Thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. So these must be the same people that are those uh, friends of Dudu that Priscilla talked about, so uh, might have a job for you. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemophart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs, and the churches pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threatened me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. I'll take care of that for you. All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm not you love, I'll anyway. do anything. Okay, and let's get rid of those uh, a-holes outside. Um, maybe a quick save? And then let's beat some sense into these... Uh... Dare you to say it again. I, I didn't say nothing. Hey. Leave that man alone. So you're the ones. All right, fat so, look what we got here. Is it just me, or you got cat eyes? Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. <laughs> now, what you doing in the city of eternal fire, cat shit? Hmm. I'm gonna probably start gouging your eyes out in a second, but... Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted our Archimel fuck. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. I think if your name is Hamel far as you're looking for here. it. Shove their fruits up there, blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then, every time they fought. <laughs> Hamel fart? Um, well, I'll try actually, not that I think that it will work on three guys. It has before, but. Leave the puffins alone. Aye, we will. Alone. What the hell? <laughs> He's a fucking witch, get him! Knew that would happen, but uh, the experience was worth it. We can't kill him. Oh, I'm out of dragon stream bombs. I think I killed one. Uh, I killed one of you three. <laughs> and they all three ran away. One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin. I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much. You are welcome. It was nothing. Oh, it was something, all right. I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason why we shouldn't help you. Get half of town to come to the play. Wait and see. Some quick preparations. That's the friendliest the elf streets. I've ever Kill seen in this game. I mean, I saved that one elf out of that burning building, and in between recordings, I saved that same elf from a uh, few guys harassing her. And she always was a bit mad at me. I don't really know why. But, okay. What did I run into now? Geralt of Rivia, Witcher. White Wolf, I call you. You yeah. stand accused of offending religious sentiment. We've orders to take you in for interrogation. Surrender your weapons. Um. 
I will as long as I get a receipt. <laughs> uh, no. Over my dead body. Told you we wouldn't fool him. Well, you're due a beating. It will just be more of a challenge. Remember hmm. the preacher who spoke of witches and witches? Oh yeah, the that man guy. Being humiliated before his faithful. He asked that we administer a sacrament on his behalf. Your last rites. I'm gonna enjoy this. And the other one is running around again. There's one guy just sitting here. Where's the other guy? Sorry for all those people running around, but uh... Ooh, there goes his arm. I like that ham sandwich. Thank you very much. Um, well, that's kind of weird right now. He's like searching the map. Okay, see you in a second at the docks. So we have arrived at the docks. We're now looking for the, uh, the ushers we're gonna need. And they're apparently fighting over there. I think I'm gonna have to get on this side of the street. Sophus the fight. Bull. It's nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? Uh, I don't really want to face A anyone. Versus the beast of Metina. Killer instinct versus primal rage. Um, got a job for you. I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Lead us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong man. Ass kicking is what we do. Uh, you probably might be getting some ass kicking. Uh, I'm gonna pay because I don't want to get into a fight with both of them because I need to, uh, beat both of them in hand-to-hand -hand combat. So I'm just gonna pay up. I pay well. Stand to make more than you do here. Expecting trouble, but we need to bust some heads. Probably. Can't rule it out. Bricks could start flying. Heard that from a reliable source. Ow! Wanna smash some brick layers? Oh, he does, he does! Oh, I don't know me, I'm brother. Give me that coin. And don't fret. We'll be there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Great! So now with that done, we only need to return to Irina Renard to start the play. So again, I've said this uh, a few times this episode, but see you in a second. So and here we are again at Madame Irene's theater. Irina, sorry, Irina. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. And the puffins are also on our side, so. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I have very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher, and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Um. Am I not gonna play the Witcher? Who is playing the Witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll play <laughs> So it is Newcomer me. Newcomer to the troop? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. Yeah. Okay. Good idea. It's a good idea. Doubt I'll get a standing ovation, but Dudu will see me. That's the key. But you will make an effort, won't you? Learn your lines, at least. I'll do my best. Shot, of course. So, let's talk about the princess. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? 
Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Oh, um... Well, Dudu knows Priscilla. Although he does know you as well. Um... Hmm. You should play the princess. Roll's yours. Talent and experience Trump looks in my book. I'm honored. I shall give it my all. And then the prince. So who do you see playing the Doppler prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safe bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique. But he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bolya, outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. That seems like a problem. So let's go with Abelard. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. Okay. So, uh, that's that then. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Prepared as we'll ever be. We can start now. Looked over the script out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Okay. Zoltan, and there's Zoltan. What are you doing here? <laughs> Pressy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. <laughs> Tell me, my child, you're going to wear hose and a codpiece. Come, Geralt, you must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ah, uh, thanks, Sultan. 